David, we are just around the corner. The holidays are upon us. I know, I'm so excited, Jamie. I can't wait to see what amazing Christmas present you got me. And it better be bourbon or I will cry. All right, tonight I'm really excited because we're gonna be doing a Weller blind battle. For Jamie. Now, Weller is extremely sought after. People go crazy for Weller product. I've got three of the more accessible Wellers. Obviously, full proofs impossible. Single barrels are impossible. And, and then like CYPB is impossible. So these are at least three somewhat more findable bottles, but still they are crazy hard to find. What do we got? We got Weller Special Reserve coming in at 90 proof. This is your entry bottle at right around 25 to 30 dollars if you can find it at retail then we have weller antique 107 this is about 50 dollars and uh comes in at 107 proof and we have weller 12 which is a much much harder to find bottle uh coming in at 90 proof which is also very very good these are all these are good products people like weller because weller traditionally has a pretty good flavor profile that most people like there's some people who are kind of done with it they're just sick of it they don't care about the hype it's not worth it to them totally get it. there's so many other good bourbons out there now as we talk about these three I wanted to put two other bottles in this lineup. One that is very findable and very affordable. Something you can walk into your liquor store every day and see how that very findable, very affordable bottle compares to these very, very hard to find Weller product. And that is Maker's Mark 46. Now this thing is coming in at 94 proof right here. Beautiful, beautiful Maker's 46. This is basically Maker's Mark. Then they put it uh, French Oak Staves into it and then it turns into Maker's 46 and it's really, really good. Now the thing that makes this a good option in comparison to these is it's a weeded bourbon. These are all weeded bourbons, which means that wheat is the secondary grain in the mash bill. Uh, Makers has wheat in it as well, which makes it somewhat similar in flavor profile. We're gonna see how it lines up in, in this group. There's another bottle that I wanted to bring in the competition tonight, and this is a limited release. It's a little bit harder to find, but it's not uh, necessarily well or hard to find, and it doesn't carry the Weller name. And that is Rebel Yell. This is a Rebel Yell single barrel, 100 proof. This is a Lux Row product, 10 year age stated. Justin in Maryland helped me get hold of this one, so thank you so much, Justin. I'm particularly interested to find out if this Maker's Mark 46 stands up well to the Weller line up when they're blinded and we don't know what we're drinking. And also I'm interested to see how this more special single barrel 10 year age data product does against the Weller 12 and, and the Antique 107. Uh, this is more proofy than this and it's uh, older than this. So we will see how it stands up. Now, if you end up enjoying this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Now let's get Jamie in here and do this. This coming Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, we are doing Happy Holiday from whiskey tube now we're inviting literally any and all channels that are whiskey related on YouTube to come and join us it may be brief depending on how many how many people say yes but we're literally gonna put everybody that we can possibly everybody that's interested uh, on our live stream this coming Thursday so if you have a YouTube channel that is whiskey related content in some way and you would like to participate please email me at the whiskey gmail.com Oh, a little bit of caramel, mm. some spice, oak, brown sugar. What kind of berry is that? Is it strawberries? Yeah. Uh, how, like, if you cut up strawberries and you mix sugar into it and stir mm -hmm. it up, that's what it smells like. Did you do buffalo trace? I'm not telling. Okay, this is nice and creamy. It's got the berry. It's got Ooh. some kind of, is that like a soury oak kind of taste? It leads into with a really nice berries and cream. Yeah. It starts with a little bit of a bitter oak. On the finish, I get a little bit of floral. Had a little effervescent in the back of my mouth on that mm -hmm. one. All the stuff you said was spot on. Starts a little bitter barrel, and then it kind of moves into berries, cream, a little caramel, almost a little bit of an allspice. At the at the finish, I feel like I have butterscotch on my tongue mm -hmm. at the very mm -hmm. end. Ooh. Okay, this I got a little bit of funk on the nose. I'm getting like a really nice caramel taffy, like a wheat grain. I get... A little bit of sugar cookie. Okay, it's starting to lighten up a little bit. Yeah. My first sniff was not that great. I get caramel. I get a lot of brown sugar richness. I get some of that sugar cookie I was talking about, but it's doughy. It hasn't been baked yet. I get a little cinnamon. And do you get a little lemon? Okay. I get yeah, a little, little lemon. Citrus, yeah. A little bit of citrus, some, lim uh, some uh, cinnamon, just a touch of clove. Very, very mild, though. I'm getting a little bit of a weediness as well. Mm-hmm. Little, little dry grain. That one is like really, really well balanced. I really get that lemon though. Yeah. It's like a really sweet lemon. Mm-hmm. Almost like a uh, sour head or uh, what is it? The lemon heads. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's like that. And then it's got this really nice creamy vanilla finish. Mm -hmm. I feel like you picked a lot of ones that I like. Brownie milk chocolate. Oh, it is. Oak and there's baking spices on it. A little bit of caramel drizzled on top. And then I get some pound cake. <laughs> I can't disagree with any of that. It's actually really spot on. Well done. Honey. Cheers to your nose notes. I like this one. Yeah. Chocolate. It's Ooh. it's like a caramel chocolate. It's gooey caramel in chocolate, kind of like a Snickers, a little bit of peanut. I'm also getting a little bit of a pie crust mm -hmm. with some cinnamon. This is desserty. This is very desserty. But on the other side, it has an oak on it that says, hello, I'm still a balanced bourbon. But yeah, it does have a really nice uh, oakiness to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good. Finish is clingy. It's just so syrupy, some drying aspects to it. I get a little bit of butterscotch. Is this Maker's? <sighs> oh. This I get some kind of artificial grape. First I got a little mustiness and then, then I got like a grape Laffy Taffy. Black pepper, a little bit of cinnamon, cloves. And then I get on top of all of that, I get a little bit of floral. Yeah. I, I get that. But to me, the predominant is that grape. Mm -hmm. It's like a grape Laffy Taffy, grape nerds, grape mm -hmm. Laffy Taffy kind of mm -hmm. thing going on. I would even go as far as saying like grape crush soda or something. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. Holy crap. Flat grape crush soda. A little bit of vanilla. It has some spices, black pepper, oakiness. A yeah. little bit of that flower prettiness. So These three kind of say I'm from the same family in ways, like they're yeah. friends and they're alike friends. This yeah. one is saying I'm the oddball out of the group so far. I'm the pretty flavorful one while these guys are more desserty ones. Well, I feel like they're, they're all related, but it's like the first three mm -hmm. are like natural born siblings. And this is the one where the mom and the milkman had a thing and it popped out a little bit different. So it's like a half brother. Very gooey towards the end. Maybe a little caramel on that. I really like the mouthfeel on this one mm -hmm. at first. And then toward the finish, it goes to this very gooey thing like you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I like that. And I do too. But then at the very, very, very end, it goes very kind of black pepper. Not like a spicy black pepper. It's like a fresh made caramel with floral notes yeah it has some baking oh, spice that smells really nice some vanilla i get berry that just coats your mouth cool whip with a little bit of drizzle of caramel on it it's really good and i get what you're saying there's a little bit of a uh, bitter undertone though mm -hmm. you picking that up mm -hmm. i don't know if those are age notes from like an older one mm -hmm. coming in or if it's almost like a new bourbon that's not it needs a little more age mm -hmm. to get and find its own coming in fifth place guys it was the oddball out of the group it was so good but it was odd it out was of the group different and it stood out that was not my fifth place. I would drink this on any old day. It was really, really good. Yeah, it's fantastic. But I had to make a decision mm. and I'm not confused. So this uh, came in fifth place. Yeah, there's there's a specialness to that one that is uh, really special. It's really good. That one is my second Number place one. Two. It's my second place one. It is very unique and very special, but it didn't win. It's, it's really good though. Number <sighs> four is C. And C was good. I really like this one. This was really good. I would drink this again and again. Mm -hmm. That's the problem with this blind, David. Oh. The problem with this blind God. is that you gave me too many I like and not enough that I don't like. So number three was creamy lemon, brown sugar, cinnamon. It was the sweet kind of lemon, which I liked a ton making a decision i had to put it in third place it was really good it was my fourth place but it's it's all of these even my fifth place one is fantastic number two 
this guy, this one had the sweetness and the oak. Yeah, this was a hard blind. I will say that. This one for me came in fifth place. It was extremely well balanced. Mm -hmm. Like this one went all of one direction. It had all these special things about it. Mm -hmm. This one was like an everyday balanced sipper that you could literally, it's crushable. I, I could sit down and drink this for hours and then go to sleep by the fire in the yard in the grass. Number one for me was this guy. Berries and cream, spice. It had a little bit of proof. I felt like this was a complex guy. It reminded me of a Buffalo Trace, mm -hmm. but I'm okay if it's not because I'm curious if there's more than Buffalo Trace out there that we like. This blind, every single one of these could easily be a, a sipper that I would go to anytime because it's, mm -hmm. this was a, this was one of the best blinds I think I've put together in a very long time. Did you just finish mine? Yes. Weller, I don't know. What is that? Rebel Ten Year. Take it to your side. Oh no, I don't know this guy. I don't either. It's the first time we've ever had it. Huh. Interesting. <gasps> Another Weller? What is happening here? Alright. Um, turn around to your side. There's Makers 46. <gasps> really? Yep. And then over there next to you, babe, on the far shelf. Amy, now that we have the bottles down, let me just tell you that this competition, the whole point was to take these harder to find Weller product okay. and compare them to Makers 46, which is very available and inexpensive, relatively speaking. Uh, you can find it at any liquor store. And Weller, or and Rebel Yell single barrel 10 year. Weller 12. Okay. Coming in fourth place, the Rebel. This one reminded me of a Bardstown. It it's really did. It's chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's really desserty. Number three, 107 SR. Weller Special Reserve was my fifth place. Wow. So here's the thing. The reason why the Maker's Mark, I put it in the competition tonight, is because it's weeded, it's available, and it's affordable. And it was Jamie's number one tonight. And I will tell you, it was my number three. It was fantastic. It's really, really, really good. It's not super special, mm. but it's extremely well balanced and it brings some really, really nice notes. So, you know, I uh, I gotta say, I'm excited about the results tonight. It was very cool to Jamie to see that, you know, we hype up these Weller products and they're really, really good. And the Weller 12 is this delicious, unique berry, but Jamie just wasn't feeling it tonight. I mean- Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Yeah. Makers, guys, Makers 46 <laughs> was in number one place. And, and the reason why I put this lineup together, and mm. it's so funny that Jamie found the Makers Mark number one um, to me. And the whole point is, in this in this game that we play in, in the bourbon world and on, on Whiskey Row and, and Whiskey Tube, you know, it's all about the special bottles and the highly allocated bottles and the B Tax and the Pappy Van Winkles and sometimes some distilleries can make some extremely sippable bottles, some delicious bottles that are absolutely fantastic. And they're not super hard to find. Whether you have the budget to chase down a Weller 12 or go find a Rebel or just pick up a Weller Special Reserve. Jamie had it in second place. <laughs> and they're really solid bottles. So regardless of your budget and your ability to get some of these special bottles, the bourbon community, the bourbon distillers out there, they provide some amazing bottles that are so sippable, so crushable. Don't fret about not finding that special, special bottle. If you like what we're doing here on Beyond the Road, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you love findable alternative bottles that are not that expensive. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Dude, if you guys don't have six kids, you need to make them because <laughs> it helps a lot. So freaking delicious. All right. Done. <laughs> All no, right. It tells what it is on the bottom. Oh, fudge. It is what I thought. Though. I didn't look that. I did. It is what <laughs> I thought it was. No, so, once I got drunk and I slept in the grass. <laughs> Outside on a cold night. David, we don't say the D word on camera. That's true. Uh, I, I, that I, never happens to us. Yeah, I enjoyed it so much <laughs> that I fell out of the chair in the grass and had a nap all night long. Wait. No, 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 Jamie. Here you go, David. Don't be funny. Here's the tower. No, here's the tower.